selected um, to do some work with Iknan? How did you start? Where did you start? I, I'm, I'm just asking these questions, brother Muhammad, only so that you know our our com our community. Um, community and our viewers people can benefit how these things happen how it just how it just takes a natural course and how one thing leads to the next and it may just motivate some other young people out there in our community and uh, young people throughout the world who are looking at this show how we can get involved in bigger things but by sm starting doing smaller things. So what happened when you started with Ikna Relief? Yeah, so I mean, honestly, when I started Ikna Relief, uh, even before that, uh, it was never, never in my mind, never thought I would be doing this type of work, social work and stuff like that. I mean, with my background, you know, I did MBA, I mean, is basically business, MBA in finance. I did my bachelor's in accounting. I did my ba another bachelor's in management. So nowhere in there is social work, uh, you know, <laughs> involved. So, uh, so but alhamdulillah, I mean, I mean, for the young people, I can tell you, I mean, I can and, and tell them, inshallah, for the ones who are listening, that once you start a little bit something small for the sake of Allah, and then be just have those pure intentions you know, that you want to do this and, and, and take it, be devoted to it, it opens a lot of doors that you wouldn't even imagine and you wouldn't even be cross your mind at one point that it would happen. So I think that Allah is the best of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners and, you know, things that we do sometimes we don't really think much of. I mean, when I was digging up graves, you know, to get them, you know, prepared for a burial service, I, I never thought that I would be doing this every day. You know, so I mean, Allah is the best of planners, and I didn't think of it to. I mean, if to myself, I was just doing something for the sake of Allah. I didn't feel like it was this huge effort, but you know, at the same time, you never know. You know what is you know to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, anything small that you do, mm -hmm. and you know, I mean, I'm just a normal person and just doing something normal to me, but you know, you never know where these things may lead to. So. It's very important to do that for the sake of Allah. So, you know, I, once I started with Ikna Relief, I basically uh, started as uh, just, you know, a social worker, uh, outreach coordinator. And that was back in August of 2018. Um, and then less than a year uh, later, in June of 2019, um, they actually uh, asked me, the leadership asked me to, uh, you know, take responsibility of South Florida. And, you know, I accepted and uh, I, I took on this role as to be responsible for the, for the South Florida region, which goes from uh, Fort Myers all the way south to uh, Homestead. So, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, giving the zakat, uh, the people that give their zakat, giving it out to the eligible people that, you know, uh, need to get zakat, uh, giving, uh, you know, providing services to the community, whether it be counseling services, whether it be health services, uh, providing food, groceries, and different types of things, just trying our best, alhamdulillah, to, to provide as much service to the community so we can make our community a better place. Okay, so that's where you started by um, basic uh, social services. And then what did that lead up to? And uh, how, where, where, I mean, I know from one step, alhamdulillah, you went on to another level, etc. So. Let us know what it what that sort of services led to, and what is your um, uh, I don't like to use the word position, but that would be the right word anyhow. What is your duty, and what is your 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 responsibility now? What title do you hold right now um, in in South Florida with ICNA Relief? So right now I am the area manager for South Florida, but recently we just got back from uh, from a disaster response uh, in Hurricane Ida. And ever since I actually, ever since, it's funny, the second month that I started with ICNA Relief, it was uh, in, uh, actually started the third month, it was in, uh, in October of 2018, a couple of months after I started, it was the first disaster that I responded to, which was Hurricane Florence in North Carolina. 
Mm. And uh, for those that who don't know, it, it, it uh, majorly affected the people over there in North Carolina. It was a lot of flooding. It wasn't. Mo it was uh, wasn't mostly uh, strong force hurricane winds. It was mostly flooding, a lot of rain and very heavy rain. So a lot of houses actually, you know, were were underwater up to the roof. So you know that was my, actually my first disaster response, and, and the second was right after that, which was here in Florida, in Panama City, which is Hurricane Mike, Michael, and that was in November of 2018. So as soon as I started with Ikna Relief, Panama everything, you know, I was you know sent to you know this place and to that place and doing these things, yeah, you know, it kind of caught me off guard, you know, because it, I wasn't, you know, I was just fresh into the organization. But it kind of got me prepared at the same time. That's why I say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners. It got me prepared so what's the, for what's to come, you know. And it kind of brought me into the, into the view of, okay, you know, this is what you're here for. And this is what, what Allah chose you for at the end of the day. I didn't choose it myself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it in my path. And I, I, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for giving me that opportunity to uh, be a part of an organization that makes differences and helps society. This is something I, I, I do every day. So, you know, I mean, it, it kind of gives me a push and helps me to wake up in the morning and knowing that, Muhammad, this is your responsibility. You know, wake up and go do what you have to do for whoever you, you can do it for. And this is really my motivation. Uh,